Yo, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to create this puddle slash warp shake effect for your next edit or music video. Starting off, I already have my clip imported. Go to new, and we're gonna create our adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add our motion tile effect. And if you don't know, I actually have my clip zoomed in just to upgrade, get rid of uh, this uh, actual logo and these black borders. So I'm gonna zoom in back in right here. Then I'm going to our motion tile. I go to our output width and height and put it around at 250 and click on our mirror edges. Close this out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a shake effect. Go right under here, go to shake, distort, drag and shake. It's gonna start giving us a nice shake effect right here. Go to the beginning of our adjustment layer, put our amplitude at two for the start, create a first keyframe by clicking on our time watch. Go here to 25% or a quarter of our adjustment layer, so about maybe right here and we're going to bring it down to zero click on a motion blur and, and enable it hit the beginning go to our y shake and we're going to increase y rand amp all the way to 1176 and it's going to give us a nice y shake right here hit the same keyframe right here at the end and i'm going to go ahead and click right click and go to reset and it's going to reset our actual keyframe to where it starts off and it gives us a nice y shake right here so we're gonna go ahead and highlight this easy easy by pressing f9 on our keyboard close out our s underscore shake effect then we're gonna go ahead and add s underscore warp puddle drag it in head to the beginning over here go to our amplitude and we're gonna leave it at 0 0.100 click on our time watch head to around 75 percent of our clip it's so about right here. I'm not, not a clip, our actual <laughs> adjustment layer. Go right here and put it on zero. Once after that, I'm gonna head to our frequency and put it at 1.8. Click on our time watch. Create our first keyframe right here. Go to frequency, make sure it's on 180. Click our time watch, create our first keyframe. Head to around 75% of our actual adjustment layer. Put our frequency at zero, or it's the lowest you can put it at. It starts giving us a nice shake effect. And then our warp effect right here. Close this out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add S underscore distort chroma. It's right here. Dragon, not, R not RGB, but uh, distort chroma. Then I'm gonna go over here to our blur lens and we're gonna put this all the way up to 2,578. 2,578 and it's gonna give us a nice chroma look right here. Head to the beginning over here. Go to our amount and put it at 0 0.56. Click on our time watch, open up our timeline. And we're gonna create a first keyframe by clicking on our time watch. Head over here to around the 75% of our adjustment layer. And we're gonna put it all the way down to zero. Head like this, easy as it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add noise, drag a noise, turn off our use color noise, and we're gonna put our amount to 28 or maybe around 25. Close this out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add exposure. I'm swallowing that wrong. Dragon exposure. It's gonna give us a nice white flash in the beginning. Get to our exposure right here. Go to four. Create our keyframe. Add to 25% of our clip right here. My clip by adjustment layer. I don't know why I keep on seeing it, but once after you do that, highlight both of our keyframes. Easy easy. And yeah, once after that, that's it. Create this puddle slash warp shake effect for your next edit or music video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and like and subscribe or leave a comment or just go and share the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep working hard and keep on staying creative. Peace out.